Hi, my beautiful loves. It's Charlotte with you from Perfect Shade Cosmetics. Thank you so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Uh, you ladies can look forward to some amazing tutorials. So I'm going to be kicking off the year with one of the most sought after looks in one of my recent photo shoots. It is the wet and wild look. Yes, you know that the hair was wet in the shoot, which I'm going to fix and you're going to see the final look at the end. So as you look at myself, you can see that I've already prepared from my eyes up. And if you'd like to know exactly what I've used, then I, can, I will list the list of products at the end of this tutorial. So I'm just gonna go on with my skincare. I'm going to use a little bit of day cream first. Okay, so I'm just going to start from my eyes down, just with the day cream, and then a touch of the snail cream on areas that's prone to dryness. For me, it's under my eyes and just here, because remember that my products are high definition, so if you are not repairing your skin, and I definitely recommend the snail cream, this is my go-to whenever I'm a little bit dehydrated and just want to get rid of that um, dry those dry areas and just want to get rid of those dry areas immediately so my go-to product is my snail repair cream in the oh my lady range and then i'm going to use my primer now a lot of ladies are complaining that they have really oily skin so these are the steps that you're going to use when um trying to ensure that your makeup lasts long and if you have really really oily skin so i'm going to apply the primer all the way down to the neck. Okay, so that is the primer and I'm just going to add a little bit more because this is a really matte consistency and this is the product that I recommend for my ladies that have really, really oily skin. So I'm putting on the primer Just waiting for that to get dry because I put on a little bit extra. And then I'm going to apply my powder immediately after that. So for the ladies that have really oily skin, dab on the powder on those areas. I'm oily around my mouth, so I'm going to apply powder here. Apply some powder here. Underneath my eyes is dry, so I'm just going to leave the primer on there. Take away all of the oiliness. And your next step is actually going to surprise a lot of people, but I am going to make sure that this uh, stage sticks in place. In fact, I'm even going to use my powder puff to ensure that my oily areas are really baked in place before I put on the fixing spray and before I start off with my makeup routine. This is a trend that I started about four years ago in combating really oily skin and I see a lot of uh, international YouTubers are now doing this uh, these steps. So definitely I had done this four years ago and I can definitely guarantee that it lasts and it combats the oil and it absorbs all of the excess sebum so that your makeup lasts longer. So now I'm going to apply our fixing spray over the powder. Just going to wait for that to settle and then i'm going to start off with my corrector underneath the eyes now remember this point if you have dark circles then you would apply your real eye cream and wait for three minutes but working around the rest of your face so i'm using my latte corrector underneath my eyes you can see that my brows are already done i did the bushy eyebrow and i will be doing uh, tutorials on this to show you how to get this kind of effect for your eyebrows that's the corrector. You can apply it anywhere else where you have dark, uh, uneven skin tone. I'm applying it here and don't blend it in. Please just leave your corrector on the skin. Uh, just leave it like this. Do not blend it in. Next, I'm applying my foundation, which is fair. Start from the nose, going out. Go over the corrector, all the way down to the collarbone. And 
and then blending with our foundation brush. Patting underneath the eyes to make sure that it blends well and that you're not taking away your corrector. When you see that your dark circles have vanished, stop patting because the more you pat, the more you're taking away pr product on your skin. Let's give it a vigorous uh, blending on the neck. Starting from under the eye again, blending out. You can see that everything has been blended. Patting and just ensuring that it is flawless. Okay, next I'm going to just blend in a little bit more foundation under the eyes. As you can see, less is more. So just going to pat to take away product. These fluffy Foculio brushes are coming back in stock. So ladies, please watch out for these um, brush sets. There's going to be six in the set. We did launch it two years ago. It sold really well. So we decided to reintroduce it with a whole lot of other Foculio uh, products, new products that's, in, that's just been uh, launched. Okay, so I've just blended under my eyes and I love this brush here for just getting the powder really close without it caking. So if you ladies are getting a bit of caking underneath your eyes when you've applied your powder with your powder puff, then this Foglio brush is a must have in your kit. Just get it really into those lines without it, without it caking. So I'm going to leave a thick layer here to bake. And then the rest of the face, I'm only going to do the nose. And I'm going to show you how to use the Radiant Image uh, palette without sealing your cheekbones. Now, this is crucial in getting this glowy, dewy, sun-kissed kind of look. So you're not going to seal powder over your cheekbones and any other area where you're going to be applying the highlighter and the bronzer from the Radiant Image palette. So I'm going to use my blusher brush, an angled blusher brush, and I'm going to use the bronze. First, I'm going to use the rosy and ready on the cheekbones from the highlighter, from the cheekbones going down to the apples, like that. Rosy and ready from the cheekbones going down to the apples and making sure it's overlapping at this point with your powder underneath your eyes. Okay, because you don't want to get that line here. So when you're applying your powder underneath your eyes, make sure you get it onto the cheekbone as well and not just directly underneath the eyes because it creates that line and then it's hard to blend. So I've applied the rosy and ready first and then I've applied the bronze the bronze, this from the Radiant Image palette, over this to give you that sun kissed look. I'm going to also extend it over onto the forehead on the temples so that your highlighter extends all the way up here. And then I'm putting Kimi Boo on the center, just the center because that's where I want the light to attract. And then Kimi Boo on my nose. And then I'm going to contour with the bronze from the Radiant Image palette. So I'm still applying the bronze all the way up here. And then I'm going to apply a little bit of powder just to seal around my mouth, but I still want it looking nice and dewy. So I'm going to take a matte brown eyeshadow. I have a palette, but you can use any matte brown eyeshadow. And all I want to do is just create some illusion here on the cheekbone. And then repeat here. Just to create natural contours. And then I'm going to cut my jawline. 
to give a more angular jawline. Especially for those ladies that are starting to sag on this area here, you would cut it with a matte brown eyeshadow. Next, I'm going to apply the bronze from the Radiant Image Palette and just go over that contour to make it look less noticeable. So mainly on the cheekbones. Next, I'm going to contour my nose using the same brown eyeshadow. Next, I'm going to soften it with highlighter using the Kimi Boo from the Radiant Image Palette. And then I'm going to go over the contour and just take away some of the intensity of it just by blending over with highlighter and just making sure that the nose is more visible. The tip of the nose is visible and not the length of it because we want to cut off the length and we want to create the illusion that the nose is shorter than it actually is. So we highlight here with Kimi Boo. Highlight all the way up and then I also want to intensify this area. So I'm going to apply it there and here. Next, I'm going to remove all of the excess powder from underneath my eyes using the same fluffy brush and next I'm going to use my brow brush to add some shimmer underneath the eyes the bronze from the radiant image palette underneath the eyes all the way in and if you really want to intensify then you can just apply a little bit of foundation first before applying it There we go, it holds better. So just apply a little bit of foundation. And then the darkest bronze from the Radiant Image Palette goes underneath the eyes. Next, I'm going to just apply my mascara. Okay, my lashes have been put on. So how I prepared my eyes is I did my brows with the number one, a combination of number one and number 10 brow tattoo. And then I used the liner brush to create the strokes. And after I created the strokes, then I would use the concealer or corrector brush and just cleaned around it and made it the length and the volume that I wanted. And then I prepared my eyes with the darkest bronze in the Radiant Image Highlighter Palette and I use a combination of the Rosy Ready on the lid with Kimi Boo on the inside and Kimi Boo at the top. I lined my eyes with a stamp liner and went over with the brow tattoo number one and then just applied mascara and lashes. So that applies to the top of the lid as well as what I've just applied for underneath the, the eyes to create the complete eye look. Now I'm going to just apply my mascara And making sure my wings are nice and dark and lifted on the ends. I'm going to just go over with my stamp liner first. And just take away any excess pigment from here. Okay, make it nice and dark and lift it on the ends. And if you don't want really long wings on the ends, then you can use the wing side 
from the stamp liner which is a lot shorter you just got to do your line and then just join it to the end and you can determine how long you want your wing so I really like nice long wings so I decided to do my own underneath my eyes I'm going to line just the outer corners only and it's already got a bronze eyeshadow underneath and Kimi Boo on the inside just going over with my stamp liner Next, I've got mascara at the bottom. Next, I'm going to apply my clear crystal gloss. So that when I put my color on from the Shiloh Beauty range, it doesn't add too much of color for this look because this look is a little bit more glossy, slight color, more natural, but catching the light with the glitter in the glass. So I like to put the crystal first. And then I'm applying a little bit of the belly there. Okay, very little. Just to take away any discoloration on your lips. And then I'm going to blend it by blotting. And then I'm going to go over with the crystal again. I love how it gives you that glossy, all over equal shine. Next, I'm going to touch up my lashes and my brows where there's pigment on it. I'm using number 10 brow tattoo with a liner brush. And just doing my strokes up like this, just touching. And making sure it's going slightly over the natural hairline and following the direction of the hair growth. This takes practice. Um, try not to go too far out over the hairline so that you get really, really bushy brows. So like half a millimeter over the natural hairline. Ideally, you should define your brows to the shape that you want uh, with definition and thickness and spaces covered in between before you actually do your brush strokes. So it looks nice and defined underneath and then your strokes are over. Often you have YouTubers that have really perfect brows already, so they're not showing you, the person with not perfect brows, how to actually get that perfect um, brow look with evenness on the inside. So that's how you would do it. Just going to take off a little bit here on the arch. See Lady Boo Boo's and we are done with this look ladies. So if you'd like to know how it uh, achieved this look and you don't have time to watch the tutorial, then please WhatsApp us on 079-272-4713. See you in five with the wet hair. So ladies, this is what the look looks like after when the hair is complete, the wet and wild look, scrunched up curls, wet hair, ready to soak up some vitamin D on the beach. Ladies, if you would like a detailed list of what I've used in today's look, please WhatsApp us on 079-272-4713. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you would like to see more of these amazing tutorials. Much love. Bye.